Vice President Senator Kashim Shatima has reaffirmed the Tinubu administration's commitment to tackling the nation's economic challenges and restoring the confidence of Nigerians. The Vice President made this assurance during the closing ceremony of the 23rd edition of the Joint Planning Board and National Council on Development Planning held in Lafia, Nasrawa State capital. Our correspondent in Nasrawa State now reports. The three-day event themed the state of the Nigerian economy, challenges, options and opportunities focused on finding strategic and practical solutions to address the country's economic difficulties. Representing the Vice President, Special Advisor on Economic Affairs, Mr. Tokbe Fashua, reiterated that President Bola Tinubu's administration is dedicated to revitalizing the economy and rebuilding trust among Nigerian citizens. The National Council on Development Planning has its highest advisory body of development planning in the country and the critical role to play in shaping the nation. It is essential that we seize this moment to charge a bold cause for national economy of Nigeria's economic future, focusing on policies that promote sustainable growth and empowerment of our youth and uplifting of the standards of living of all Nigerians. And here, by reiterating my confidence with the ability to overcome the present challenges. Under the leadership of President Bola Tinubu and through the Union of Agenda, we are charging a path towards prosperous and resilient Nigeria. I encourage all of us here today to contribute our best ideas and commitment to advancing the collective interest of our beloved nation. Nasarawa State Governor Engineer Abdullahi Suley commended the organizers for selecting Nasarawa as the host and stressed the importance of implementing the event's recommendations promptly to achieve meaningful results. This meeting therefore will focus on planning for growth and development. And we are happy that it attracted the presence, even though in representation of the Vice President. I believe that the presence of Mr. Vice President is and his contribution on this team will further strengthen our planning at both national and sub-national. I therefore request that the resolution to be arrived at the end of this meeting will be backed by realistic implementation strategies in our collective commitment to turn around the fortunes of the state. Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Senator Atiku Bagudu, highlighted the administration's transformational agenda, expressing its determination to steer the country out of economic recession. While transformational and innovative programs have been introduced, the challenges occasioned by the reforms, which are temporary increases in food prices, among others, energy co transport costs, are being ameliorated by intervention programs, both directly in terms of food, uh, supporting food delivery to vulnerable population and to the wider population too as to lower, and supporting production. And luckily we are seeing remarkable increase and in, uh, optimism that the harvest season, wet season harvest, will do much better and will consolidate. As well as the CNG program, which is designed to provide cheaper energy. Most often when people are talking about energy prices and energy issue in Nigeria, they're just talking about removal of subsidy. But a more revolutionary and transformational thing that is under, being undertaken is the introduction and investing aggressively in CNG penetration. The event was attended by Commissioners of Finance, Budget and Planning along with permanent secretaries from all 36 states as well as key stakeholders in the economic sector. Mary Ojiji, ADBN News.